the part of the nucleus that is called the nuclear membrane that covers the nuclear content will be discussed in this lecture the nuclear nucleus that is important component of the cell is surrounded by a membrane that is called nuclear membrane or nuclear envelope nuclear membrane is also called the nuclear envelope the nuclear envelope surrounds the nucleus separating its contents from the cytoplasm it has two membranes each a lipid bilayer with associated proteins jo membrane hai nucleus ki jisko nuclear envelope bhi kehte hain nuclear membrane bhi kehte hain double layer structure hoti hai aur ye cytoplasm ko nuclear content se separate karti hai the two membranes are separated by space of 20 to 40 nanometer do membrane ke darmiyan jo distance hai wo 20 to 40 nanometer hai the outer membrane uh, outer nuclear membrane is continuous with the rough ectoplasm reticulum and like that स्ट्रक्चर फ्यूचर राइबोसोम अटैच टू द सर्फेस जो आउटर निकले हुए रहने वो इंडोप्राजेटिक के साथ कंटिन्यू होती है और उसके साथ राइबोसोम अटैच होते हैं देट्स वाई देट्स कॉल्ड रफ इंडोप्राजमिक रेटिकुलर द आउटर मेम्ब्रेन इज आल्सो कंटिन्यूस विद द इनर न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन सेंस द टू लेयर्स आर फ्यूज टुगेदर एट न्यूमरस tiny holes called the nuclear pores that perforate the nuclear envelope जो आउटर मेम्ब्रेन है वो इनर मेम्ब्रेन के साथ ये कनेक्शन कायम करती है उस कनेक्शन को उस जब कनेक्शन जहाँ पे बनते हैं जहाँ पे दोनों आउटर और इंदर मेम्ब्रेन फ्यूज करती हैं वहाँ पे एक पोर बनते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड द न्यूक्लियर पोर इस ये न्यूक्लियर पोर क्यों बनता है व्हाई बिकॉज दिस न्यूक्लियर पोर हेल्प इन द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ मटीरियल इन द न्यूक्लियस एंड आउटसाइड द न्यूक्लियस जो मटीरियल न्यूक्लियस में चाहिए होते हैं वो ट्रांसपोर्ट होते हैं न्यूक्लियस में साइटोप्लाजम से और जो साइटोप्लाजम में दरकार होते हैं वो न्यूक्लियस से उन्हें ट्रांसपोर्ट होना होता है उनमें साइटोप्लाजम ट्रांसपोर्ट होता न्यूक्लियस से These pores are about 120 nanometer in diameter and regulate the passage of molecules between the nucleus and cytoplasm. जो pore size है इन nucleus pores का वो 120 nanometer है. These are responsible for the passage of molecules between the nucleus and cytoplasm, permitting some of uh, to pass through the membrane but not others. तो सारे जो molecules हैं वो पास नहीं होते जो न्यूक्लियस में दरकार होते हैं लाइक द जिस तरह चाहिए होता है प्रोटीन चाहिए होते हैं जो राइबोसोम सिंथेसाइज करती हैं उनको सिंथेसाइज होने ट्रांसपोर्ट होने न्यूक्लियस में अब मैं समझ आने को न्यूक्लियस से साइटोप्लाजम में ट्रांसपोर्ट होने उसके लिए ये मेम्ब्रेन पोर्स हेल्पफुल होते हैं सेंस द न्यूक्लियर पोर्स आर लोकेटेड इन एन एरिया ऑफ हाई ट्रैफिक दे आर प्ले एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन द फिजियोलॉजी ऑफ द सेल्स The space between the outer and inner membrane is called the perinuclear space. दो मेम्ब्रेन के दरमियान जो आउटर और इनर मेम्ब्रेन है उनके दरमियान जो स्पेस है उसको पेरीन्यूक्लियर स्पेस कहते हैं एंड इज ज्वाइन विद द ल्यूमन ऑफ द रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिकुलम उसको एंडोप्लाज्मिक रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिकुलम का ल्यूमन ज्वाइन करता है द न्यूक्लियर इनवेलप स्ट्रक्चर इज डिटरमाइन बाय ए नेटवर्क ऑफ इंटरमीडिएट फिलामेंट्स जो न्यूक्लियर इनवेलप की जो स्ट्रक्चर है वो इंटरमीडिएट फिलामेंट डिटरमाइन करते हैं दीज आर द प्रोटीन फिलामेंट्स दिस नेटवर्क ऑफ द इंटरमीडिएट फिलामेंट इज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड इनटू लाइनिंग सिमिलर टू मैश कॉल्ड द न्यूक्लियर लेमिना व्हिच बाइंड्स टू क्रोमेटिन इंटीग्रल मेम्ब्रेन प्रोटीन्स एंड अदर न्यूक्लियर कंपोनेंट्स अलोंग द इनर सरफेस ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस द न्यूक्लियर लेमिना इज थॉट टू हेल्प material inside the nucleus reach the nuclear pores and in the disintegration of the nuclear envelope during mitosis and its reassembly at the end of the process to ye nuclear lamina ka different role hai nucleus mein uski disintegration mein pores tak material ka pahunchne mein aur nuclear envelope ka disintegration mein mitosis ke dauran the nuclear envelope of a typical mammalian cell contains 3000 to 4000 pore complex If the cell is synthesizing DNA, each pore complex needs to transport about 100 stone molecules per minute. अगर cell DNA synthesize कर रहा है तो हर minute में 100 stone protein ने transport होना है nucleus में. If the cell is growing rapidly, अगर cell divide हो रहा है, each complex also needs to transport about six new ly assemble large and small ribosomal subunits per minute from the nucleus to the cytosol where they are used to synthesize proteins agar cell repl replicate ho raha hai rapidly grow kar raha hai to nucleolus se jo ribosome assemble ho rahe hain har minute mein six ribosome cytoplasm mein transport honge the nuclear pores are highly efficient at selectively allowing passage of material to and from the nucleus because the nuclear envelope has a considerable amount of traffic RNA and ribosomal subunits must be continually transferred from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. RNA or ribosomal subunit ne uh, must be continuously transferred from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. 
کیونکہ آر این اے اور رائبوسوم دونوں نے مل کے کیا بنانی ہے پروٹین بنانی ہے سم مالیکولز لائک ہسٹونز جین ریگولیٹری پروٹینز ڈی این اے این آر این اے پولیمرازز این ادر سبسٹانسز دیٹ آر ایسنشیل فار نیوکلیر ایکٹیوٹیز مسٹ بی امپورٹیڈ فرام دا سائٹو پلازم انٹو دا نیوکلیس تھرو دیز پورس دیز نیوکلیر پورس A prominent structure within the non-living dividing nucleus is the nucleolus. That is, the plural of the nucleus is the nucleoli. What is the role of the nucleoli or the nucleolus? Here, a type of RNA called ribosomal RNA is synthesized from the instruction in the DNA. DNA is the instruction laker. Nucleolus may ribosomal RNA ban rai. Along with the ribosomal RNA, nucleolus is also responsible for the synthesis of the ribosomal subunits. Proteins that are imported from the cytoplasm are assembled with ribosomal RNA into large and small subunits of ribosomes in the nucleolus. The proteins from the cytoplasm are transported with ribosomal RNA ke saath milke, جو سمال سب یونٹس ہیں اور لارج سب یونٹس ہیں ان کی جو ٹرانسپورٹ ہے وہ نکلی پورس کے طرح ہو رہی ہے وہ لارج اور سمال سب یونٹس کے ان اسیمبل انڈو دا رائبوسوم اور سمال اور لارج سب یونٹ کمپلیٹ رائبوسوم بنائیں گے سائٹو پلازم میں وہ در ایز ای پروسس آف در ٹرانسپلیشن سمٹائمز در آر ٹو اور مور نکلی لائے سیلپ میں بعض اوقات ایک سے زیادہ بھی نکلی لائے ہو سکتے ہیں The number depends on the species and the stage in cell reproductive cycle. The number of nuclei is the species per depend on and the reproductive stage per depend on. The nucleus direct protein synthesis by synthesizing messenger RNA. The messenger RNA DNA is the instruction ke baad jo banta hai that is responsible for the protein synthesis ab messenger ne kaam ban raha hai messenger ne dna nucleus mein ban raha hai kis ke instruction se dna ke instruction se aur wo messenger rna after in case of eukaryote a post transcription modification ke baad usne kya hona hai transport hona hai cytoplasm mein the messenger rna is then transported to the cytoplasm via the nuclear pores ye jo nuclear pores hain unhi pores ke through ab Messenger RNA transport on a cytoplasm. As we have discussed that the nuclear pores are trans, uh, responsible for the trafficking of the material from the nucleus into the cytoplasm and from cytoplasm into the nucleus. Because RNA nucleus is being made, that's why the RNA ki transport will be in uh, cytoplasm because RNA ki jo translation is being made in cytoplasm mein ho rahi hai, uh, with the help of the ribosomes. Once a messenger RNA molecule reaches the cytoplasm, Ribosome translates the messenger RNA gentle message into the primary structure of the specific polypeptides. When messenger RNA cytoplasm will reach, then the cytoplasm will be translated into the ribosome and will be mature protein. That is the important part of the central dogma of molecular biology. DNA is RNA and RNA is protein. DNA is RNA and RNA is in the nucleus and RNA is protein in the cytoplasm. Now, it is helpful to know that the nucleus is helping and the cytoplasm is helping in the protein senses. But the transport or the transfer of the material from the cell from the nucleus into the cytoplasm is through the nuclear pores. So, this is nuclear جو میمبرین ہے نیکلو انویلپ ہے یہ ٹرانسپورٹ آف میٹریل میں امپارٹنٹ رول پلے کر رہی ہے دا جنرل سٹرکچر آف دا نیکلو انویلپ دیا دیس اس دا نیکلیس ہیونگ دا انڈو پراز نیٹیکلم ویری کلوز ٹو دا نیکلیر میمبرین ہیونگ ریبوسوم دیت اس وائی اس کال دا رف انڈو پراز نیٹیکلم ویڈ ان دا سیل دیس اس دا انویلپ دیت اس کال دا نیکلو انویلپ and the pores through which the material are imported or exported uh, 
from the nucleus and into the nucleus that is called the nuclear pole and the plasm or the living part of the nucleus is called the nucleoplasm and the chromatin material in the condensed form are present that is the uh, uh, chromosome and the nucleolus is a spherical body inside the nucleus where the ribosome are synthesized this is a general overview of the uh, nucleus and the nuclear envelope the nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane uh, if you look at the detail of this, uh, this nuclear envelope, the nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane is made up of two layers, an outer layer and the inner layer. Outer layer is connected with the endoplasmic reticulum and the inner and outer layer when fused with each other, they form a pore that is called the nuclear pore. So nuclear pore will think this just like this. Dono membrane jami fuse ho rahi hai, the sec pore ban rahe hai, jo material of uh, transport of material is helpful for this is called the nuclear pore responsible for the intake and outtake of the material from the nucleus into the cyt uh, cytoplasm or from the cytoplasm into the nucleus this is the whole uh, nucleoplasm living part of the uh, nucleus the space between two membranes is called perinuclear space outer membrane and the inner nuclear membrane outer nuclear membrane and inner nuclear membrane dono separate hain aur jami fuse rahe hain nuclear pores ban rahe hain iske sath jo chromatin material hai wo cytoplasm discuss kar chuke hain aur nuclear lamin uh, uh, that is a material of the genetic material and ribosomes are attached on the endoplasmic reticulum so in summary we can say that the nuclear envelope is made up of two uh, double membrane both the membrane are separated from each other and the outer membrane is uh, connected with the rough endoplasmic reticulum by the inner and outer membrane when fused with each other they form a pores that are called the nuclear pores that is responsible for the transport of different material that's all about the nuclear envelope nuclear envelope is the surrounding of the membrane of the nucleus they protect the nuclear material they protect the nucleus and nuclear membrane have the nuclear pore that are responsible for the transport of different material into the nucleus and out of the nucleus thank you so much